All right, in this video, we're going to look at some things with some mods. We're going to uh, reveal some secondaries and maybe do some slicing, uh, figure out what's good to slice, what's bad to slice, what's worth keeping, what's not worth keeping. So I go to my inventory, click on mods, and I know I have a bunch of uh, new mods from uh, an event today. <coughs> I always start by with the triangle because that's the most rare, and then I go clockwise I'll go triangle then cross circle diamond square I finish up with the arrow so looking at the um, triangle I will filter and I only want to look at the unassigned mods right now that's what I'm looking at and generally speaking right now all I'm looking for is uh, secondaries of speed um, that's just what I'm looking for right now um, like once a month I'll go through and look for other health and offense and things like that if something might catch my eye i might take a look at it but generally i'm really just looking for speed right now anyhow so only unassigned mods so all right so i look for mods that need to reveal the secondary so right here we've got a triangle health mod with offense it's got uh, secondaries of defense and health now see so yeah, you can't see this because th this the game uh, layout is screwed up right now, so you can't see it. If you want to see these, if you go to the um, slice or the upgrade uh, screen, you don't have to actually slice or upgrade it, but you'll be able to see them a little bit better then. Anyhow, so right here, so this uh, mod, I don't like that it has a primary and a secondary that flash, so offense primary and defense secondary. However, just for the sake of looking for speed, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the last two. I don't take it to 15 right away. I just do uh, each reveal at a time. In the event that I reveal like a, a plus three speed, then I immediately sell it. So let's see. So I go to three. That'll reveal the next secondary hit upgrade. Um, okay, so I got defense and go to six. So I'll reveal the last one and potency. Okay. Um, right now, I know since these clash, the, the primary and secondary clash, there's nothing really keeping enticing about this mod. So I'm most likely going to sell it. Now, on this, this particular account, I know I'm really short on triangle mods. So right now, I'm going to uh, hang on to it. But generally speaking, I'd go ahead and just sell this mod right now to get, ri get rid of it and clear the inventory space. Anyhow, so let's look at the next mod. Okay, so... It has plus three speed. All right, well, I'm going to sell it, but, but what I'm going to do f instead is I, I forgot to go through and look for all of them with plus three speed. So I, I, I go through and uh, try to sell as many bad ones right off the bat as I can. So first thing, anything under five dot, sell. So right there, sell. Now let's look at uh, the speed. So sort secondary speed, or filter by speed secondary, and then sort by speed. Looks like uh, there's only one, and one at, at plus three speed. I think I've gone through these before and checked for like the plus 11 speeds and things like that. So anyhow, so I'm just going to sell that. I shouldn't have any more plus three speed secondaries <coughs> now in my inventory. Anyhow, um, okay. So this one here, um, let's see. Let's try to reveal some speeds. Oh, okay. So right there, I got a plus three uh, speed secondary. I know I'm going to sell it. Good thing I only uh, did it to uh, reveal one at a time because now I don't have to waste any money on it. I know I'm going to sell it. Boom, boom, gone. And that's the last triangle. I want to point something out. Um, why? How much more expensive it is to go to go right to 15 versus um, doing them one at a time. First, if you go right to 15 you'll blow right by whether if you get a plus three speed you'll blow right by it and not have the chance to sell it first secondly let me just take show you okay if we look at how much it costs to go from level one to level 12 it's about 86k let's round it down to 80k now uh that's from level one to level 12 now let's just check out uh how much it costs to go from 12 to 15 so from 12 to 15 162 K so roughly 80 K to go from 1 to 12 and 160 K to go from just 12 to 15 and going from 12 to 15 doesn't reveal any new information all it does is it increases your primary stat and that's uh, always the same increase no matter what um, so going right to 15 right away uh, 
when you get a mod is a terrible waste of credits. Anyhow, um, okay, so now let's see. We're going back to the crosses. So the first one here, I don't see any speed on this um, right away, so I'm just going to skip it for now. I'm going to go down to the purples. Let's see. No speeds there, but I'll reveal the last one. And, okay, it's an offense. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, for the sake of time, fly right by it. Okay, let's reveal the last one here. Just looking for speeds right now. Okay, there's a speed. Now, it's plus four speed. Um, that's good. Now, things I don't want. I if it proc speed again, it goes to plus seven, then I'll sell it. So I still want to just do my increments of three. So I'll go to six next. Okay, so that was good. It went to nine. That's good. That's a keeper. I'll go uh, another increase. Okay, so this turned out to be a pretty decent mod. Um, okay, so now this purple mod um, has the capability. It's proc speed uh, three times. So it could proc if when, when I go to, if I were to go from purple to yellow, it could proc speed again. Uh, up to maybe a 19, um, which would be well worth taking um, up to a 6E mod. Also, looking at this, it's a defense set, and the primary doesn't clash with it. The secondaries don't clash with it. So this is a decent mod. Now, I'm not going to jump on it and, um, and uh, uh, slice it up right this second, had it Proc like four speeds or something had it been closer to 20 I might upgrade it right now but instead later on or maybe at the end I'll go through and just see which ones uh, I'll, I'll slice up which ones had the best speed and use up my slicing mats that way but I, I'd rather do that than uh, slice a, a 13 speed here and just to use my last uh, mats that I have uh, on hand right now and then all of a sudden get like a 15 and not be able to slice it right now. So anyway, so that's a good mod. I'll just hang on to it for a second though and look for some more. Let's open up the rest of these. So upgrade to three. Okay, there's a six. All right, now I see offense, crit chance, defense. All right, they clash. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this because it doesn't look like a great mod. All right. And look for speed. Okay, offense and defense clashing. I'm just going to sell it. Okay, plus three speed. Gross. Sell it. And there's a plus four speed. Okay, let's uh, up them one at a time. See if we can get any higher. Okay, so uh, 12 was the last one. Now I have to bring it to 15 and slice it to um, reveal another uh, secondary, or not reveal, but get another proc. I'm not going to do that right this second. I'll leave that for another time, because right now I'm revealing had it proc speed uh, once or twice more. Perhaps I would have done more with that mod right now. Okay. And, okay, so here's an interesting thing. I'm not going to um, go any more on this mod, but I do want to point something out about uh, offense. Offense percent is probably the second best stat that you're looking for right now for secondary stats. In the first proc, we're looking for about a 0.5%. Um, down to about a 0 0.45. 0 0.44 maybe. Um, that's okay. And, and now I'm talking about in terms of if we're viewing just that stat and trying to decide if we're going to slice or, or increase this mod just based on that one particular secondary stat of offense percent. This is a Okay, maybe uh, 0.44. On this one, uh, this particular mod, since it's got offense and defense, I'm probably not going to do it, but I just wanted to point that out. Moving up to trying to decide if I wanted to bring this from yellow, from 5A to 6E, strictly based on a secondary stat of offense percent, I would want it to be at about 1.0%. Again, might go down to about a 0.95%. Um, the The... the bigger you start with, uh, it seems like the bigger the jump you get. That's just what it seems like to me. Anyhow, so th this mod, since they, they clash, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it because I'm going to need the room. Let's uh, see if there's anything else we can unlock. Nope, so I'm going to move on to the circles. All right, no 
speeds there, no speeds there, no speeds there. Okay, one to unlock there. Nope, offense, defense, garbage. Sell it. Okay. speed there's speed great now um, I could go to six uh, however I know I know it's a plus five um, so that's a that's a keeper in terms of just secondary so I might as well go ahead and re not only reveal the last one I should get the next proc so I'm gonna go six seven eight nine okay and so it revealed and then did the protection proc and then let's go 12 okay well it didn't proc speed again, so I'm not going to slice, it, upgrade it, and slice it right this second. Um, I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. And maybe do it later on today, maybe another day. Okay, let's reveal some more here. Okay, no speeds. And no speeds. Offense, defense. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell this. And um, when I when I'm selling these because they're clashing, if I think of a, a damage dealer, having defense on a damage dealer really doesn't do that great. Sure, one might say, "Well, it'll help keep them alive." Okay, fine. Wouldn't you rather have more offense on them though? Uh, wouldn't you want your damage dealer to do more damage? And if they if they're chewing up um, a slot with a defensive statistic, then you're losing a chance to have an offensive statistic and so yeah just kind of uh, losing a chance and and so it, it, you're better served generally speaking um well maybe towards end game or, or whatever you're better off offensive characters having more offense stats and defensive characters having more defense stats okay And now I've got a bunch of 1E mods down here. I, I could go ahead. I'll show you how I do one of them. Um, I'm not going to do all of them. I just don't have enough credits to do them all right now. Um, so I'm going to upgrade. Just do them three at a time again. Looking for a speed. And if I get a speed, um, like I did right there. Okay, great. Um, now, this one, since the crit chance and defense they kind of clash yeah i'm not gonna raise it right now but generally speaking if it, if it was a four i'd go ahead and bring it to 15 and slice it up to making it a green mod anyhow i'm gonna move on to diamonds no speed no speed let's see here okay there's a four speed now uh, again for this one I, i'm three we'll go ahead and reveal the last one what i'm really interested in is the next proc on the to see if we Bring you bring the speed up or not? So I'm gonna go to six. Let's see. Okay, so eight. That's keepable. Go to nine. I wish it was better. That's keepable. All right. Well, I'm not gonna go any higher on this right now because eight doesn't knock my socks off. Um, but I'm not gonna sell it. So I'm just gonna move on to the next mod. Okay, there's four again. Reveal the last one, and then proc one more of of one of these three or the last one is revealed and looks like it proc the crit chance twice so let's go for speed again let's hope and one more okay well might be a decent mod cooking here with all that crit chance however i'm just looking for speed right now so i'm just gonna move on to the next one okay plus three speed get rid of it back to the diamonds all right Health crit chance doesn't need to clash. Can get rid of it. All right, just a meh mod. I'm just gonna move on. Not even worry about thinking about it right now. Can I have a bunch of extras down here? I just don't have the credits to open them right now. And plus, the ones on this side are more copious than the ones on this side. Um, and so I usually try to unlock all of the ones on the the triangle and the cross and the one you get the most of is usually the square so let's see looking for speed no 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 
no, no, let's see it here, yes, okay, so here, the three will unlock the last one, and this will give us the first proc, okay, another good for next, and the last, okay, well, it's a keeper mod, it's just uh, has its proc speed, so I'm going to move on, and go for the last one, okay, yeah, nothing great, okay, well, okay, let's look at this, now, since it's a square, it's always going to have a primary stat of offense. And, and as such, this primary stat doesn't necessarily clash with this secondary of defense. I mean, you're never going to get get a square that has anything other than a primary stat of offense. And so these don't really clash in that sense because you can't get like defense up here in the primary on a square. Uh, likewise, on a, on a diamond, you're always going to have defense as your primary. And so that primary of defense doesn't clash with this secondary of offense down here. Okay. Anyhow, moving on. Looking for... Okay, so yeah, these defenses don't clash with that offense. Now that those defenses do clash with that crit chance, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. Because I'm already taking up a lot of time. Just looking for speeds. Okay, there's a speed. Come on, give me some more. All right, there's another speed. Yeah. All right, and the arrows. The arrows really want the speeds up here in the primary. It's the only place we'll get a primary of speed. I'll still go ahead and open the rest of these up. Um, can get some interesting things. That's a whole nother uh, video, a whole nother conversation about what to do with arrow mods and if they're worth it to have the various um, primaries, accuracy, and uh, crit avoidance and such. But I'm just opening these now. I'm not um, looking at them per se. Unless a plus three speed comes up, I'm not worried about it right this second. I'll go back through these another time. Okay. Um, and there it is. Thanks for watching.